is Clifton Joseph reporting for the Eglinton West Pop Up Podcast. A breakdown on what's happening in the avenue. This is uh, July 4th, Monday, July 4th, 2022. Please uh, like, subscribe, share, and of course, <laughs> donate to the Eglinton West Pop Up Podcast. So here we are, starting at Dufferin. I usually start at uh, Marley coming westward, but I'm starting at Dufferin going eastward. The subway and the uh, whole constellation of construction is, uh, you know, dissipating slowly but surely. So here you can see that is uh, the southern section, just west of uh, uh, Dufferin. Um, uh, Dufferin. That's uh, the subway stuff. This is the street. This is here coming, and here is the uh, one of the other stops for the Dufferin. The new Dufferin Cross Town Link subway by Metro Links. Okay, let's go up here and see what's happening. A lot of the business have died, some have moved, and there's still a lot of unoccupied spots. Uh, gentrification, if you will, or gentrification of light, but uh, it's happening. Uh, no real big, big stores have come in. Uh, McDonald's left. Yeah, they are over there. Tim Horton is still here. Uh, this was a funeral home, MacDougall was it? That they've closed up shop for a while. I understand it's going to be a condo. And uh, just uh, north of Dufferin, north of Eglinton and Dufferin, there's going to be an LCBO going up in, in a little while too. But here is the uh, subway stop at uh, Dufferin on the Eglinton Crosslink subway. There's Tim Hortons, still taking care of business right here. Uh, this was a trauma shop that sort of kind of gone um, AWOL. This used to be Shanties, remember Shanties? And right next door was that West Indian store with the brother with the afro. I think he went to Jamaica and passed. Um, 18, 1801, it's right here. A lot of stuff used to happen there. Mm-hmm, but as you can see, for rent signs, stuff's happening here. Uh, there's a old folks assisted housing. Uh, this is closed right here. Uh, convenience store. Mm -hmm. So we're coming up to um, just east of um, First Street, east of Dufferin, on Eglinton, and it's North Cliff. There's a library, Maria Shuker Library, right there. And uh, we'll be coming up soon on um, the Jimmy Wisdom Way. Uh, there's a subway over there. Yeah, see it? Yeah, there's a subway over there. Not a subway stop. These have just come on board. Uh, Caribbean Slice. Uh, here you are. Nice sign they got going on there. And they got this. They got that. Don't tell me what to do, sis. You, you can't tell me what to do, sis. If it's public, if it's public, I'm not recording you, by the way. If it's public, though, for the record, if it's public, hey, let me put you on camera then. Let me put you on camera. If it's public, you can. Uh, don't tell me what to do, sis. Bugger off. Bugger off. Bugger off. Bugger off, baby. Yeah. Don't get pushed around by folks in the street. You're allowed to have your camera. If it's public, you can see it. It's cool. Here's a little African boutique. Mm -hmm. There's a food bank right here at uh, the Central Cultural Lati Latino America, 1756. So, they got a food bank happening on Tuesdays. I mean, I pass by here and see the lineup. I'm wondering what's going on? Because there used to be like music and cultural events there. And of course, Here's uh, Jimmy Wisdom's barbershop, the late Jimmy Wisdom of Bob and Wisdom fame. Right in 1754. Nothing has happened since he's passed, so don't know what's happening with the building. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the Blue Nile. This joint's been closed for at least a good 12 years or more. And recently, this printing shop here shuttered. Businesses are dying on Eglinton West, y'all. When I say dying, that's not a metaphorical statement. 
I mean actual the death of buildings while others are coming into the neighborhood and getting cash flow and the businesses don't get a cent of that it seems like there's the Maria Shuka library and here the city designated for his dedication of about 40 years of barbering Jimmy Wisdom Way Jimmy Wisdom the barber and uh, singer from Bob and Wisdom days. Yeah, here is, uh, if you haven't seen it, let me see, uh, my man who did the mural, uh, Adrian Hales, did the mural, uh, the two murals for Reggae Lane, and he did this one for Jimmy Wisdom. Let me give you a side shot. Mm -hmm. You can hear the background, right? Shit's happening. We're on the block, nonetheless. It's a Clifton Joseph reporting for the Eglinton West uh, Proper Podcast. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and of course, <laughs> coming soon, donate, baby bubba. Okay, here it is. Here we are, just east of the library. What's happening, brother man? How it is, how it is. Mm -hmm. Little cluster stores there, of course. Uh, Highlight restaurant bar Jane's you can get a it's got a crowded pool hall like a tour so pool tables in there over there and on this side this was a big Portuguese bakery that uh, has been closed for think, five years maybe what are these landlords on Eglinton West that uh, have their properties like nothing happened this used to be a roly-poly uh black church you know what i mean come through there and you see like 25 people in there including three musicians that's been closed for a good five years or so beauty care of course beauty care always works right and there's a little strip mall here beauty care. and of course judy's island grill is right here they offer all kinds of stuff like this. here's their lunch special Nice photos. Judy's Island Grill. Check it out. Ma'am, this is a big time beauty stop and that uh, looks like they've closed up too. They used to be here for a moment. Wow, doing, you know, nails and stuff and pedicures and all that. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, this, have no idea what that is. This has gone through all kinds of changes. Now it's glamour cuts here design but i haven't seen any glamour in there for a while this uh little uh, mexican type bar mm -hmm. this has changed changed up but mm -hmm. and here's a new um the york eglinton business improvement area they used to be at uh just by jamal uh taylor's at uh oakwood uh just south of of uh, Eglinton, but uh, they've moved here now to this spot. Mm hmm. John Howard Society over here. Uh huh. In the neighborhood. Mm hmm. Laundry, blah, blah, blah. It's like shit in the last two minutes. I've, found, I've passed like about four of these cash checking. Outfits, <laughs> you know the problem with them, don't you? <laughs> and Chakula Tamu, always like this kind of East African food store. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're kind of up and down. Don't even know if they're open. And hey, long-standing business. They've gone through a couple ownerships, I think. Roti King, resting in restaurant and dining lounge. I used to go to school with one of this this brother's nephew. Mm -hmm. On your map. And you know, you talk about Little Jamaica, but if you come down to this church, St. Thomas the Aquinas Catholic Church on a Sunday, it's like Little Manila. The Filipinas are all over here. And if you go just west of Dufferin, uh, the Eritreans are there dressed up in their uh, dress of white on uh, Sunday. People talk about Little Jamaica, but if you come down here, it's Little Eritrea or Little Manila. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Hey, here's something somebody hit me to. I'm right at the corner of Glenholm and Bathur, or Glenholm and Eglinton. But check this out. What is that, you may ask? It's a surveillance camera right here, some might say illegally, at the southwest corner of Eglinton and Glenholm. Look at that. That's a surveillance camera. So if you're ever at Eglinton and Glenholm, watch out. There's a camera checking you out. Uh, one of these agencies run this house for uh, public housing of people in substance abuse. Oh, Gishondai. And here's a wing machine, but here's my man. Uh, sunshine. Remember from Sunshine Sounds back in the day? Sunshine is still on the block, man. If you need some sound systems, if you need any kind of equipment, Sunshine and records too. And here, right now, uh, Masani Montague from uh, Rastafest just opened up her Studio M, moved into the neighborhood and had her uh, opening uh, last Thursday. So there they are, 416-256-9173. And Rastafest is actually happening in the block. How are you doing, sis? Are you that? That's a grand one? Oh gosh, how you doing? How you doing? I'm going to making parties. Where? At my yard, Western Road and Chain. Yeah, okay, so you can get them from this yes, up? What the name? What the name? New Wing Jamaica Mifford, but I'll leave 416-436-650. Alright. Here's my son, that's just the used to. Hey, you know how it is. Are you that? Oh, you know how it is. There's always something to do, baby. <laughs> The sister on the bus, the sister on the bus is dubbed for the large Clifton Jones reporting for Eglinton West Papa podcast. The sister on the bus just now used to be one of the long, long standing workers at Randy's and she started her own patty thing at her home at Western Road. So, hey, here's what uh, Masani is. Uh, her Rastafest is coming to the block the middle of August, right here. So, uh, but you can get her uh, and she does all these things here if you can see. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's Rastafest. It's happening uh, August 15th to Sunday, August the 21st. All here on the block. And then they go off to Delhi, Ontario. Not, 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 not Delhi, India. And then they're in Niagara Falls too. So lots of things going on. I might have to take a break here. Don't know. I haven't seen this sister D for a long time. But I'm, I'm here. I'm here. D? Oh, how are you doing, sis? <laughs> I, I, I hear these days. Or are you just passing through? Oh. You. Me a pass through. I'm here. Come check. All right. Nice yeah. seeing you. Nice seeing you. We have to. We have to. You know how it is. I mean, I'm just doing my business. I'm just doing some videotape to put on my website about the Eglinton West. You know? What, 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 you, what about the West? Well, you know, a lot of money is coming through. The yeah. BBPA is over the Black Business Professional. Mm -hmm. Masani with the Master Fest. But the business in them is still crying, saying it. Money passing, but they ain't getting none. No, they're not getting none. Yeah. You know it now, go happen. But it's, that's what they come in, these organizations say they come in to help these businesses. No, that's just a sham. We're not supposed to have. You know that. We're not never going to have. Why, sis? Why? Because we're black. We're a minority. We're old with Uncle Lady and God comes. And when you go outspoken, they'll kill you. Mm, mm, mm. Poison. And go after your old family, say, better be careful. Big sis, word to the wise. Nice to see you though, sis. Cheers. All right. You're welcome, daddy. You know. I'm You're telling welcome, you, man, man, protection, baby, protection. Yeah, you got it, like <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I was here last week. Uh, my man, Julian King from Canadian Reggae World, I uh, had a gig here. Uh, he had uh, Molly Bless and uh, uh, a couple other performers there. It's pretty cool. It used to be called Sankofa, owned by African Star, who's over here, got some juice thing happening. I think he uh, passed it on to his son. See, there's a police sign there. I'm telling you, at least about 10 of these businesses haven't been open for at, at least a good 10 years, some of them, five years, two years. These businesses in Eglinton are dying, y'all, dying. And others are collecting cash. Here's another one.
Oh yeah, St. Simon religious supplies, dude. You get all your religious stuff there. Uh-huh. Let me go to a difficult area here, right? Uh, we're coming on to uh, Oakwood right now. And uh, this area here is probably one of the most difficult on the block because they've been this construction here for years. And, you know, the business has tried to hold on, but we'll see who's open and who's not. And we're talking about, like, from Times Road to Oakwood. And let's see. There's a clothing store here, but they, they seem to have nine, nine to nine lives. They've been around. This clothing store has been around. I must say, you all are survivors. I'm telling you, you are our we survivors. Have a sale now if you need anything. Oh, this is a, a going others? Closing sale. Oh, closing sale? When are you closing? Maybe the end of Okay, I'll be back to get some stuff. Okay. You 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 held on, I must say. Well, we'll be back again with a different person. Okay, dig. But you, I I'm I must hey, say. Come here. We'll be selling you the real drugs. <laughs> Pharmacy business. Really. Yeah, oh, yeah, pharmacy. Nice. The move. legal one. The legal one. Yeah, the legal one. Nice, nice. I, I admire how you've been able to stay on here in no. the midst of all of this. Since 2012, we're in jail here. How are you able? You need ten ten years in jail over here. How are you able to do it though? I know. It's tough. And what's the, what's the city saying? That's city? And the BIA. Raise tax. Big. Look forward to you in, uh, bouncing back. All right, okay, we're here all week. Okay. Yep. Thank, thank you. you. See that? Okay, this used to be a uh, Passione. Uh, went through a couple of ownership, but a nice joint. We used to watch Raptors game here, and they had some DJs and so on the weekend. And uh, they closed. Uh, Latina, another clothing store. Been here for a long time, but hardly ever see anybody in there. Music store, music instruments in Canada. Uh, 606 Eglinton Patties. This didn't go nowhere. A nun started. They've been here, more Rasta and Rasta Flex and so on. They've been here for quite a while and still seem to be toughing it out. This has gone through a lot of different names. It used to be Rivers before that and before that another thing. Uh, but karaoke uh, and the week parties on the weekends used to be a nice spot. They got one pool table in there. A spot I used to go to, but again, Ain't nothing happening. Yeah, this is one of the stores that'll probably survive. It's gone through different name changes. Looks like some kind of cannabis type shop. Yeah. Oh, computer sales. Oh yeah, they've gone out of there. Uh, it used to be called Mice at Work. They've been long gone. And downstairs would be uh, Fillion Fashion Designs. My man does some tailor work, professional alterations, pants, shirts, and suit lengths and so on yep all gone and this here beauty supply has been closed for at least a good five seven years nothing been happening here for like five seven years oh glad loony the dude who owned this past about maybe five years ago and nothing has happened since it's been closed since Across the street is uh, the little development there. There's a parking lot underneath there where they had the um, Durham Carnival right in that parking lot there. Don't know why they're going underneath the parking lot. Uh, piece of Pizza decided that they ain't going to sell because I, I know they were approached. And here's Elisa's, another little clothing store that's um, usually closed. Usually closed. Clothing store closed. This here, Asian massage therapy. Mm-mm. Clothes. Right now, but they're actually still doing business. Mm-hmm. Oh, for lease, lease, lease. Used to be all kinds of things right here. I think it was like a lawyer's outfit at the time. And here we are, Oakwood and Eglinton, y'all. Oakwood and Eglinton. Here is the subway stop. And uh Eglinton Crosslink Subway. This is it right here. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the design though, I must say. And I believe they're going to pull the mural from Reggae Lane to uh, bring it over this way. Speaking of Reggae Lane, why don't we take a walk through Reggae Lane? Because we hear a lot about Reggae Lane. 
And one thing I got to say to you is that no event has ever happened on Reggae Lane. The events that they say is Reggae Lane, it actually happens on in the Green Pea parking lot. And they usually actually block off Reggae Lane itself to do their gigs. But they'll advertise it as, as it's happening on Reggae Lane. We'll get to some of the history about Reggae Lane. The city designated it as such to uh, commemorate the uh, reggae activity on this, in this area. But since 2015, where they had promised that they'd bring Leroy Sibbles and a bunch of other lumi reggae luminaries to, uh, to have a big concert on the block, absolutely nothing has been done. Let's look at the subway. This is the subway stop at, um, at Eglinton there, if you will. So we're at uh, Eglinton and Oakwood. You can see the block, action in the block. Just uh, Randy's is just across the street, well, what used to be Randy's. So, yeah, let's go across and see what's happening at... Um, How you doing, brother? How you doing? Yes, yes, All the yes. time, baby. All the time. Let's see what happens on Reggae Lane. I tell you, no event has ever happened on Reggae Lane. They've always happened at the Green Pea parking lot. There is no such thing as Reggae Lane. Or there is such a thing as Reggae Lane. Oh, here's a long-standing business. My man Jamal uh, Custom Tailors. Jamal is still here, but he looks like he works very unf infrequently. Yeah. Is he there now? Yeah, see, he's still, he still got his stuff together. And here's a tribute they did to my man, uh, Pluggy Satchmo, uh, who passed. I call him the mayor of Eglinton West, but uh, they had a nice little do for him uh, Saturday, June 11th. So, let's deal with the illustrious Reggae Lane in what I call Little, 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 Beggy, 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 Little, Little, Little Jamaica. Little, little, beggy, beggy Jamaica. All right, here's Reggae Lane. See the sign? Here is a beautiful mural by Adrian Hales. But look, since 2015, seven years ago, they designated this as Reggae Lane. Seven years ago, 2015, they designated this laneway as Reggae Lane to honor reggae music. Now let's walk through it and you tell me What's reggae about this? Incognito, baby, incognito. Thank you, thank you. There's a lot of activity happening in the block here. I mean, it's a party, it's a party spot, basically, if you, if you will. It's a party spot. You know what I mean? Stuff is happening here. Uh, people have set up their own little thing here to kind of keep the denizens of Reggae Lane out of their headspace. But this is Reggae Lane. And except for that mural and the other one we saw earlier, absolutely nothing has been done by the city. And ironically, here's a city, city vehicle here. This is Reggae Lane. This is the Reggae Lane you hear talked about. Tell me if you will, here's the mural, the first mural. And here's the other mural up here, both expertly done by artist Adrian Hales. But folks, this is Reggae Lane. You hear me? Now you tell me what is reggae about this. And who hangs out at Reggae Lane? A lot of folks who come from all over the city to just hang in its uh, post-revolutionary vibe. How are you doing, sis? Uh, 
and they tolerate it up here at the block so they hang out on regular lane and um, the cheapest crack and blow jobs you can get in the city is right here on regular lane this is just a little bit west of um, Mali Alameda This is uh, the back of uh, Raps and Spence restaurant. That's what the back of Raps looks like. So that's about nearly ends the uh, the tour of Reggae Lane, ladies and gentlemen. And just to let you know. No activity has ever happened on Reggae Lane. The activities always happen. This is Reggae Lane here. This, and this. Nah, nah, brother. You know, I'm just taking the um, atmosphere. This is. This is. This is uh, the Green Pea parking lot with the big mule done by Adrian Hales and this is where most of the activities that say they are happening on regular lane happen it's like right here right here in this little spot here nothing happened this is my man a rapper doing his thing sells uh, posters and stuff there and hey how you doing how you doing I'm telling you shit's gotta happen rapper how you doing man mm -hmm. you want to say something to the people yeah, yeah, right. Hey, if you got to do, you got to do, right? How business? Business slow now. Mm -hmm. Well, I see everybody coming into the block. The Durham Carnival people the other day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the Vaughn people coming through too. My son is doing Rasta Fest for a week. Yeah. Uh, the BB Black Business Professional Association oh, doing. Yeah, well, I'm uh, here on to Dufferin. Okay. She opened up her office right there by Glen Home. Mm -hmm. So, boy, yes, hold on. Yes, All right. Uh, here it is. They got a little shop your thing. Shop and win. But, yeah, this is, uh, this is regular lane. We've just gone through regular lane. And this is the block. We can do that in time. This is a uh, Western Mali going towards uh, Oakwood right there. Uh, let me give you the plaque that they've done. So this is the municipal parking lot, the Green Pea parking lot that most of the activities you hear saying they regular lane, this is where it happens and not regular lane itself that we just passed through. But here's the plaque, you know. There's my man Leroy Sibbles from the Heptones. Jackie Matu, legendary. Here's my man King Culture down by Keel. And it says in the 